Hello friends, welcome. I'm going to start a new mini series about Vue.js and Laravel. And specifically, I'm going to create a Vue.js authentication project with Laravel API as a backend. We are going to use the Breeze API package. So if I open the browser and let's go to the laravel.com documentation and we have starter kits here we have breeze with blade with react and view and also with api we're going to use this uh, api here and this also has a uh, next available on github so if you want to use with next js you can see the example on the github but i'm going to create a vue.js project and use this api for making authentication. We are going to have a registration, login, and forgot and reset the password. So let's open my terminal. And I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to create the project. So the Vue.js project and the Laravel project. CD in my sites directory. Okay, so first I'm going to create the Laravel project and I'm going to say Laravel I'm going to give it a name of uh, Laravel Breeze API and it's going to create the project with inside this directory and then I'm going to create a Vue.js project. Okay, now let's create the Vue.js project. So npm and let's clear this. Okay, so npm create with at latest and we need to give it a name. Uh, let's say view breeze API. We need Vue.js here, JavaScript and CD in this project. So let's cd in this project and say npm install. And then we need to run the npm run dev. Let's open first with VS Code this one. And let's run the npm run dev. And as you can see, we have the project inside the localhost and port is 5173. So let's open this inside here. Yeah. Now let's open the VS code and uh, just let me zoom it. I think we are okay. Let's navigate in the app directory in the app file and I'm going to remove what we have inside here. I'm going to leave only the script and the template. Okay, go to the components and delete this one as well. Inside the assets, let's delete this one. And now we have only the empty assets, empty components. And in the app view, we have only this one. So let's say here, uh, H1 view breeze api okay and yeah we have view breeze api and i have installed the laravel valet so i can open the project the laravel project in laravel dash breeze api dot test and yeah here we have okay now if you go so the, let's search for Sanctum and we need to go scroll down and see the single page authentication. Here I suggest you to go and read about it. So in order, in order to authenticate your single page application and the API must share the same top level domain. So in this case, right now we have the 
API, so the front end inside this uh, domain, which is localhost and 5173, and the backend we have in this Laravel Breeze API. So, in order to do the make this authentication with Sanctum, we need to have both of them in the top level domain. So we need also the Laravel project to run in the local host. And it's not it's very easy. So we just need to say PHP artisan serve and then we can have also the Laravel in the local host 8000. And also you can read here for the stateful domain configuration. Also for the, we need to add the Axios defaults with credentials to be true. Finally, you should ensure your application session cookie domain configuration supports any domain of your root domain. So this we are going to do in the next video. We are going to work with the Laravel backend and fix the session domain, the Sanctum domain and so on. So see you in the next one. All the best.